I don't support my country, the United States, for this whole Russia conflict for one reason. My country is just basically bullying Russia and they want the Ukraine to join NATO, you know, for, you know, basically so that they can build missiles and uh, just encroach further on Russia. And it's just all propaganda on TV, obviously, when they're saying Russia and, and Putin are tyrants and they're an evil regime. No, they're not. They're just uh, out to protect their own interests. And the Ukraine was already a part of uh, uh, the Soviet Union before it collapsed in, what was it, 1991, I believe it was. But yeah. And us just bullying and trying to get Ukraine is just trying to expand NATO in the process. And we already know what NATO encompasses with the European Union and everything. Like the anti-family bullshit, the rainbow people shit. And Russia doesn't want any, any any of that shit in the Ukraine, which is pretty much where Russia was born to begin with and, what, a few centuries ago? I don't know the exact specifics, but yeah. And I understand why Russia wants doesn't want the Ukraine to go to NATO and the United States. You know, they're just going to have all that fucking anti-family propaganda that a lot of us Americans already don't like and don't listen to, at least are the smart ones <laughs> that don't listen to that. And yeah, we're all for like everyone being treated equal and everything, but the propaganda has gotten so out of control nowadays with the anti-nuclear family uh, in the West and in, in NATO. So I don't agree with what Putin is doing with, you know, the missiles and everything, but I understand his reasoning behind not wanting to let the Ukraine go to uh, go to the West. You know, and not, not to mention the fact that uh, Zelensky was installed by Obama. It's pretty much a fucking puppet. I think it was back in, what, 2014 when Obama was still president. So, you know, he doesn't even like the fucking Russians that live in what? what in North, in North, East, East, East Ukraine. He, he called them specimens. He called the Russians that live in East Ukraine specimens. So he doesn't even treat his own citizens that are of Russian ethnicity you know, equally. So, I mean, that combined with him being put there as by Obama as a puppet, I mean, it fucking, it makes sense. And I understand why Putin is doing this. He didn't do it, obviously, under Trump because Trump, you know, meant fucking business. But now that he knows that the United States and our military is now woke, uh, it's sad and I hate to say that because I'm ex-military here. Uh, in the United States, but I mean, it is, it's gotten woke now. And that's that all that propaganda from the woke bullshit has taken over. And it, it, that's why he's doing what he's doing. I mean, in a way, can you blame him? I mean, besides the death and the violence, I mean, he doesn't want the fucking woke bullshit going to the Ukraine. And us bullying him around into a corner with this shit. So the only ones that are being bullies here is us. Is us. <laughs> They're not being bullies. That, no matter what that retard Biden says on TV, he's just projecting. <laughs> okay? He's just projecting. And yeah, they, they, they didn't do this under Trump because he meant business. But because Biden is weak and, you know, is a very, very, very poor leader, uh... Now they took advantage. Now they jumped on it. Now's their time to quote-unquote strike. This is not me uh, supporting Russia, but I understand their reasoning, like I've already said the past three times. I understand their reasoning.